bad exercise prescription because I blamed a structure that, that didn't deserve it. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I have Neuro Coffee in hand and it is perfect. All right. As usual, Wednesday, crunch day. Very pressed for time, but want to mention the fact that we do have a Coffee and Coaches conference call tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. These have been great calls. Got another segment from last week's call coming up uh, this morning because it was so good. Um, we were talking about uh, depressed scapula yesterday. And so today we're going to talk about the winging concept that, that I think is totally misunderstood. Um, we're blaming the wrong thing. It's sort of like blaming uh, the patella for a tracking problem in the knee. Um, when it comes to the winging scapula, it's a, it's a thorax issue. And we'll explain that in the video. And then um, there's a little segment from an IT and Y video that I did woo, in 2019, I think, um, that I'm going to throw in there too, um, where I'm making the commentary about, about sort of blaming sort of the wrong concept. We're, we're looking at the scapula because it seems prominent, but it is not the cause of these situations. And therefore, it ends up promoting an ineffective exercise prescription. So I think it will be helpful for a lot of people. If you would like to participate in a 15 minute consultation, please go to askbillhartman at gmail.com, askbillhartman at gmail.com, put 15 minute consultation in the subject line. We'll arrange that at our mutual convenience. Everybody have an outstanding Wednesday. I will see you tomorrow, 6 a.m. Coffee and Coaches Conference call. Have a great day. I'm good. Yeah, I, uh, I've got a bit of a question relating to scaps just because we were chatting about it there before. Sure. Um, a couple of years back, I had a pec reattachment after doing something stupid on a bench press. And uh, as a consequence of that, since then, I've noticed that uh, I've, my left scap is wing, if you want to call it that, um, a little more than my right, uh, right scap. And I've been told by some other physios that... Uh, you know, it's a weak serratus and, and I, I need to do some work there in order to try and bring it back um, down a little bit. Uh, it's um, really noticed that on heavy eccentric lowering. So if I'm doing like a, a military press or something of that nature and lowering some decent weight, that's where it comes into a vacancy if you like, below the scap as you're going through that that range of motion just prior to bringing it back to uh, chest level. Um, what's your thoughts on on that? I, I don't know that I buy the weak serratus being the solution to the problem. Um, I, I would agree. Um, but what you what you don't have is anything for that scap to to compress against when you need the, the so you have to compress the scapula against the posterior rib cage when you're lifting heavy things right that's an ir representation so you got to you got to push the scap against the thorax but the thorax keeps getting away from the scapula so so the, the mistake that people make is that they they call it a winging scapula instead of a compressed thorax and, and so then the strategy becomes the wrong strategy. It's like blaming the patella for a tracking problem when the patella is an idiot and it's just the train on a track. So uh, trains don't think, they, they follow the track, right? So patellas follow the track. Scapula have to have a thorax so they know where to go um, in space. And so you can have a strong serratus anterior or whatever you wanna call it. Um, because again, if there's no place for the scapula to rest, there's nothing for the, for the musculature to pull against. So you need to create left dorsal rostral expansion and move the rib cage back to the scapula. It's, it's not a, it's not a winging scapula. Yeah. Right? It's, it's a, yeah. it's a, that, it's a, that a makes sense actually. Yeah. Well that, but that, but see that, but that is, that that is the solution is like, you've got a thorax. You've got a thorax that's IRing, right? It's compressed, moving forward, and you got to bring it back. That, that actually, uh, and I don't know whether there's any, you know, physical uh, validity to this, but certainly the sensation that you get that there's something missing under the scapula when you get it down to that position where you're almost returning the bar to your shoulders and you end up in that position where there's just like a vacancy there. There's nothing to, there's nothing to support it. Right. 
Right. No, that's a, that's very helpful. Thanks, Bill. You're welcome. Hey, hey, Matt, do a do a quick yeah. test next time you're in the gym. Um, do backwards crawling or backwards bear crawls. Okay. And then and hey, Frederick Frederick knows where I'm going here. I, I can see his head shaking. B backwards crawling, backwards bear crawls, and then retest your your overhead string. Oh, okay. Right, okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, good, cool. I was thinking about this the other day where you know, everyone kind of freaks out over like scapular winging, but a lot of times we're almost trying to recreate that in this room, but we're, we're calling it like scapular decompression. But it's not winging. Okay, so how, what, so how, what would is... you, how would you define a winged scapula? Though? I wouldn't. I okay. wouldn't. I, I just wouldn't define it that way. It, it's, it's probably blaming the wrong element of, of the movement system, right? It's like the scap is doing the best that it can under the circumstances. It's, you know, attached by 17 muscles and, and you're gonna try to achieve an outcome, right? With your hand or your extremity or whatever it might be. But if I have a, a, an exhalation strategy or a comp compressive strategy that, that doesn't allow the, the shape of the thorax and the scap to, to, to be mesh coherent with each other, then why are you blaming the scapula? Because then it redirects everything back towards the high MG activity and say, oh, you need more low trap strength or you need middle trap strength. So we need to do I's, T's, and Y's. When you're already compressed to begin with, that's what pushed this, the, this, the thorax flat, right? Instead of allowing it to be round so it actually meets the scapula the way it's supposed to be, right? right? And so now again, it's my fault, bad exercise prescription, because I blamed a structure that, that didn't deserve it.